This is my video blog for improvisation. Today's lesson was working on like different techniques of trying to avoid blocking and how to work with improvisation, but also like to focus on two things like we did like a lying down, sitting down chair. I thought um I did well because I was able to think of situations how to keep the story going because I've done the improvisation before and this is a good thing if you ever get nervous and you forget your lines on stage to try improvise the scene to an ending where you can start the next scene. Something I work on is when I when we did the sitting down, stand up and lying down, when I was doing like a transition from each one of them, I didn't make it as smooth. Like I had a character that could have made it smoother. That's what I need that's what I need to focus on. So if I work on that but um apart from that I think I'm working well on like creating a character be able to maintain it going I just need to try and make that like the good transitions a bit clear because when it's on stage there's no redos you have to do it on that spot and I think if, if I can master that it will come handy like like I said in pantomime it's probably one of our biggest shows we'll do because we rehearse some months we got all the makeup on, we've got dances to do, movement. If you get a bit like a bit nervous knowing someone's out there watching you, you got to try improvise and encourage that character to improvise with you so you get a reaction. Because if you, if they're just stuck there going, uh, uh, you can improvise it and help that character out because it's 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 a group show, it's a team effort. So if you like if you have an opportunity to help them out, it's a good chance, it's my video blog for improvisation.